Uh, this uh, welcome to the surface code. This video you're about to watch it's uh, a video where Papa Deboy um, explained when some rich men who pay almost the biggest tithes and offering in his church to ask him how to give account how he spent the money or he's spending the money. So in this video you're about to watch, Papa Deboy explained what really happened to them after they asked and what he did after they ask for accountability of how they sp how we spent the money how we spent their tithe because they happens to be the richest who pay the biggest in his church so watch and i'll come back i told you that at, at a time four of the real billionaires in nigeria were in this family and pride came because they were, I mean, the tide that was coming to the main church through this family was hefty. By that definition, I mean, of the time. All of a sudden, a handful of the big men, not the ones I mentioned, wrote to me and said, every month, you must give to us an account of how you are spending our tithes. I said, ah, okay. What they're asking for is all right. They're simply asking for transparency, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I said, however, I have gone through the Bible. I have not found a place where God spoke to Moses and said, every month, you must give an account of the tithe of the children of Israel to them. So I said, all right, I will do two things. Number one, I will prepare a detailed account of how your money is spent. Including if we buy a bottle of Coke for first timers. I will put it in a file. And every month, when you people come for the Holy Ghost service, that file will be on the table. I won't give it to you. I will put it on the table. Anyone who wants to see can go and read. But make sure you wait till I have left the room. Because I know everything that we are doing on earth is being recorded in heaven. I don't want my God to say, you are the one who handed it to them and you were there when they were reading. And I did that. Number two, I told the treasurer, from now on, any tithe that comes from this family, don't add it to the rest. Put it aside. Let me find out if the God who sent me can run his church without these people's contribution. I'm telling, I'm talking to you now like father and, and special children. Nobody had ever heard this one from me before. So for two years, how many years? Two solid years. Every cupboard that came from this family was kept in a separate account. Let me just find out if God is bigger than the biggest, richer than the richest. It was when Ababa came. So you can check all these stories, the people involved in our life. Professor Ababa came from Ibadan. I sent him here. When I say here, you know, we were only one branch then. <laughs> Just the family. And then, after he's been in the church for some months, he came to me. He said, the people are complaining. The people you asked me to go and join, they are complaining. What's the complaint? They said things are not going well. And they have found out. 
that they offended me. That that's why contracts were being cancelled, all manners of things were happening. I said, I'm not quarreling. And God knew. <laughs> I wasn't quarreling. I just ignored. I pray in the name that's above every other name, what you will do that will cause God to ignore you, you will never do it. If you have done it, may the Almighty God forgive you. Anyway, he then said, When you knew this was a problem, why did you send me? <laughs> why did you send me there? I said, I didn't know anything was happening. I was just trying to prove how gracious God can be to me. Then we reconciled. It wasn't everybody that offended. It was a handful. People who thought that they are cleverer than God. And they brought problem to everybody. It will interest you to know that every one of those involved in that little group, they are no longer in the church. And uh, they are not where they ought to be. Let me just put it like that. Yeah, you, you have seen the video. Um, I think one thing, quick one, quick one, I'm not to say much. If you do a sacrifice, you don't need to go back. That is why uh, in Nigeria, when this uh, the other religion when they take sacrifice to the three junction they tell the person when you get to the junction drop it turn and don't look back when you make a sacrifice don't look at the sacrifice again to maybe you want to see who is going to eat it or who is going to take it so when you pay your title when you pay whatever you give contribution in church or when you give people money don't go back and be asking them how they manage to spend it i think it's and me to me it's not right that's just my thoughts anyways so him saying something happened to them that they said they were uh they have done something wrong who knows nobody knows you understand so nobody knows but so you have to be very careful when you give from your heart give and forget it you don't need to be asked question uh what did you do how did you spend okay if you give somebody's money now and the person you now go back to ask what did you do with the money <clears throat> and the person says i did it with this okay if you are not happy will you ask for the refund because the person didn't do it didn't use the money to your own taste um that's just my thoughts when you give you close your eyes and you let go because when you give you are not expecting to collect back you give and forget it we we don't you don't even need to be asking it most especially maybe in church that's just my thought that's just my belief me if i give money i contribute money in church i don't need to ask whatever they like to do with it i have given i have given it is that is just me it is that whatever when i give somebody what they say ah, this person did it is none of my business god has instructed me to give the way i want to give and i have given or i, I gave it out and that is the end i mean i don't go back to no what the person did with it i don't know what you think so whatever what do you think what do you think just comment drop it in the comments don't forget to subscribe comment and share god bless